Here comes the blitz. Round of ball looking to throw, feeling pressure over the middle, and a great catch by Chris Gibbons at the 43-yard line of Akron. Bring him on, send those chains down the sideline because Chris Gibbons is really playing well here tonight. He went down and got that ball off the turf, secured it. He's had, a, since they moved him to slot, he's done the job. In front of Brandon Anderson, he catches that one. And for Anderson, a junior out of Dublin, Virginia, first and 10 Miami at the Akron 43-yard line off a great catch by Chris Gibbons as he's out of the game right now. His shoe came off on the tackle. Aquaman out of the gun. Backs on either side. Two wide outs. The handoff up the middle again. Whoa. This time, Joey Hudson is there to stop him. And he bounces off Hudson and then driving backwards and making the stop is Mullins and Jordan Gafford. Lost back to the 38-yard line. A five-yard loss. Second and 15 coming up big time play by Joey Hudson who has been Mac defensive player of the week twice he filled the gap right now and then Allen had no place to go he tried to spin out and did but Clayton Mullins was right there along with Jordan Gafford to bring him down in the backfield now Jamal Rogers to the far side with Chris Gibbons in the slot the handoff goes to Thomas Merriweather and the ball's loose and Akron has it that is the fourth turnover of the night against Miami. Thomas Merriweather, the freshman, fumbles that one away at the Miami 33-yard line, and it couldn't have happened at a worse time for the Red Hawks. Now that was just a, a bad, it looked like a bad snap. Yeah, but he never got that thing. It just popped out. Daniel Rattleball and Thomas Merriweather not on the same page. He just never got the ball in his hands. There was no focus there at all. The ball came popping out of there, and Akron's got the football. High formation again with Arthur to the far side. Jack Lemayne under center. Second down and 10. Sophomore quarterback takes the snap. Play action looking for Arthur. Nowhere else to go but to Arthur in the end zone. Picked off by Jeff Thompson. Yes, sir. In the end zone, Jeff Thompson gets Miami's first turnover of the football game. And the Red Hawks have it first and 10 at the 20-yard line. And the Zips are taken out of the red zone. And... Miami gets a break. That was an ill-advised throw. Yeah. That was big time by Jeff Thompson to recognize where the ball was being thrown. Arthur had no chance of getting that. Thompson just stepped in front, and he had an easy pick. And Jeff Thompson does a nice job, his third interception of the season. And Miami gets the ball back, so they exchange turnovers. and. That was huge. Two wide outs either side as Dennis Kennedy comes in. Jackson takes the snap. Now will run with the ball and gets hit at the line of scrimmage and driven backwards. Clayton Mullins hits the quarterback and drops him for a yard loss. And it'll be third down and 13 now for the Zips from the 20-yard line. Well, that has, is exactly the way Miami wants to play this football game. They wanted to just cover up everybody on that line, including the quarterback. There was nowhere to go. Kennedy to the near side with Arthur in the slot. Williams far side, Fuqua in the slot out there. Jackson, the quarterback, stands out of the shotgun with Allen to his right. Play clock down to six seconds. Jackson takes the snap. Here comes the blitz and Wrapping up the quarterback, the ball is loose, picked up by Miami, and it is a touchdown! Touchdown for Miami, Craig Mester gets the touchdown, but give a lot of credit to Clayton Mullins as he got in on the quarterback, Carlton Jackson, and got a hold of him and never had a chance to get rid of the football, lost it, and Miami picks it up and takes it into the end zone. Big time play. The left-hander avoided Mullins, but he just lost the ball. It came right back like a basketball into Mester's hands, and he scores. Finally, the defense says, boys, if you aren't going to score, we will. It's our time. Miami shows blitz, and they come with it. Jack Lemayne to throw, feeling pressure, lobbing toward the corner of the end zone, and Arthur can't make an adjustment to the football and comes up a little lame. As the ball falls short of him, he was open at about the two-yard line, and Miami dodges the ultimate bullet there as Arthur just could not adjust to the football. Whether he got a cramp or got his foot hung in the field turf, he just got turned around twice and then slips down, and the ball falls harmlessly to the turf. He could not go back to get the football. There's no question about that as Arthur, he was he was open for a moment against the Miami zone, 
but one of the things that Arthur did is he couldn't plant and come back because the ball was thrown so short. The ball was, he could not get the ball to him. Williams, Fuqua, and Arthur to the near side. Dennis Kennedy goes wide to the far side of the field. This will be the final play, 8.1 seconds to play. First and 10 Akron at the 45-yard 45, 45 line. Jack LeVain looking to the near side, throwing toward the end zone. Arthur battling for it, it's loose, and Miami has picked it off, and this game is over. The Miami Redhawks have literally survived to get their sixth win of the season. They go to six and five as Jared Gaines picks off the pass as the clock winds down to zero and Miami's fans can breathe a big, big sigh of relief with a seven nothing victory over the Akron Zips here tonight at Yeager Stadium.